Hey guys, this is Seth here with yet more Terraria. And, uh... Yeah, needless to say, that took a little bit longer than I expected to, but I did... What I mainly tried to do was take off a few things. I also lowered the KBPS output for Steam a bit in an effort to, uh... Hopefully fix any lagging. It seems to be that helping though, so hey, who's complaining, you know? But anyway, it's time to see if we can find some floating islands. Um, I brought all the kinds of keys with me, so in case I do need to unlock them, I will be able to do so. There's a new track for space. That's interesting. I mean, not the, now that I know, you know, now that I know, that's going to make things interesting. Oh, wow. I don't even know how I managed to do that. RPs. Okay, so yeah, I do think, you know, I do believe I found my tactic to getting floating islands, so. I don't think I'm high enough, though. Either I'm too high or I'm too low. Yeah, it was too low. That freaking RVs. Hey, yo. So, as I said, this is a good, good tactic to have the search for floating islands. Because, as I said, um, you don't have to worry about um, making bridges or anything of that sort. All that matters is just finding them. And yes, I am purposely taking my time here as best as I can without these harpies, you know, being harpies, but... But as you can see, guys, the map is really not that big. Um, it really isn't. So you can be rest assured, there shouldn't be too much trouble uh, at all, so... Of course, it's no guarantee. It's still a bit difficult, as you can see. But not impossible. And as long as you keep making those little platforms, you're golden. Problem for me is... I didn't see any floating islands. So I guess I gotta go higher up than I thought I did. These harpies. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Seriously, those harpies are fucking me over so badly right now.
know that this strategy obviously isn't perfect, but... I guess it does the job, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't vouch much for those fucking harpies, though. Now, before you you ask, wonder where the floating islands are, even I don't know. But apparently, they're pretty bunched up together or something. That's my only explanation, at least. Again, though, these harpies are not making anything easier for me. That's a lucky catch. <laughs> God, these fucking harpies! There, getting them... At least clear them out of the way for now. Alright, so it's... Obviously we still have not found... Oh boy. Obviously we still haven't found any floating islands, and that kind of concerns me. But they can be anywhere on this map, to, to be fair. Because on this map, they wouldn't be that big. As I keep, you know, as long as I keep moving, you know, quickly and as high up as possible, you know, it's still very possible. You know, that I could potentially find um, one of these floating islands. It's just, as I said, floating islands are typically rather. Uh... Yeah, here, here's one right here. The hell? So, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a floating island. And uh, as you can see, it's gotten a change, hasn't it? Now, the question is, what is this all about? Warding, shiny red balloon, rope. What is this stuff? Sunplate block? So that's what it is in this. So they're not closed anymore. They're actually open again. I don't need that shiny red balloon, though. A Skyware chest. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and get these clouds. You know, may as well. Okay, so the floating islands are actually bigger than I thought they were. But now we know that they actually did create a, uh... They actually did create a track for a pie. Like I said, you better believe I'm getting all these clouds. But 
judging from the looks of that chest, it has me curious. Where do I get these special keys and stuff? You know, I, I seriously wonder if, in fact, you know, I seriously wonder if, in fact, um, you know, there's more to it than it seems. Like, th these odd-looking chests are really getting on my, uh, curiosity meter right now. Like, I'm completely and absolutely curious as to what these chests are supposed to be and what they're supposed to have, especially. Now, as for whether you can create, oh, create anything out of these clouds, I don't even know. I, I, you don't even bother asking me, but yeah, in case you haven't noticed, you can't really get the ability to take advantage of any ores now, so. Tell you this much, though, I am definitely... Grabbing as many clouds, blocks as I can. Because, well, jeez. Because there really isn't any guarantee. Like, you can only find these blocks up here in a floating island now. Uh, just to make note of that, so... What I'm doing simply is harvesting all this stuff, so that way I can uh, use it for any crafting abilities this game might allow me to use. Like, I don't know what this is going to be used for, quite honestly. I don't know if there's any crafting recipes or what have you, but... Yes guys, we're seeing the brand new floating islands. And they are quite a wonder to be had now. They actually look like they're islands floating in the clouds now. There must be some use for these blocks, though, I'd imagine. There must be. out of here. Actually, wait, there's more. Oh, right there. Damn it. I want to make sure I get all the rank. For fuck's sake, I just got rid of one, and now another one is here. And I get rid of another one. Another one shows up. Notice there was water sitting there. Fucking harpy, I swear to god, they spawn way too much up here.
Just like that. That floating island has been discovered. The good news is that I can do this even in the dark, so... Yeah, as I said, I'm pretty much going on a search for any floating islands. And speaking of floating islands, here's another one. Now, this one has a Star Fury, as expected. Um, but it's not really needed again. I mean to take that. All right, so I'm really curious as to what's going on here. Like, I don't really know what the point for these special chests are, but they're... Like, these are definitely chests I don't think I've seen before. But as far as I can tell, other than the cloud blocks and the you know, new stuff they did add, you know, I can't really vouch much for this, so... That does make two. There should be one more coming up, so... Drilling, man. That drilling. But I'm really curious to see if you can craft anything out of this stuff. I could see so much potential in it, you know. I'm really curious to see what you can get out of this. doesn't seem to me like there's much left in here, so... Once again... Okay, but I will take this. I wonder if those banners have anything to do with something. They really do just give you so many harpies to deal with with. Oh my god, I can't even get off the fucking island without one spawning. Look at this. It's so stupid. It's like, can you stop already? Anyway, um... Can go again. Right now, I'm just trying to keep these fucking things away from me for once. Leave me alone. Holy crap, these fucking harpies. Is I'm at war with these guys. As you have, if you haven't noticed. Wait, 
What a time to freaking lag. Wondering now if I've actually yep, I have. Well with that done, let us see how much we actually did let's see how much we actually did accomplish. Like how much of the sky did we cover? Okay, I I do believe, I think I can tell where the island may be, the final one. It must be right in there. Because that's the area where it seems like, you know, that's the only blind spot I could see the island being at. question is, is if I'm right or not. And here's one of them right here. back in here and have all of this. I'm still curious on what the hell's going on with the uh There's definitely no uh biome now. I honestly cannot know for sure where the uh I really don't know where this island could be but I know there has to be at least one more That re nice little recovery, kind of. Yeah, I really don't know where the island could be at. Did they lower it down to two or something? You're throwing that down. Honestly, at this point, I can't really say for sure where the islands could be at. Oh my god. Better believe I'm keeping an eye a uh, watchful eye though. I certainly don't know where these things could be at. My only guess is that they did lower it to, uh... You 
you know, my only guess is that they did lower it. That's my only guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I legitimately don't know. My God, these, these harpies are really probably among the most annoying of the uh, enemies to contend with. Because they just keep freaking showing up. Um, yeah, at this point, I think I covered as much as I could. Let me see. Um, okay, actually, they might be over here. It might be over there. It could potentially be in there. So let me do this. Okay, now let me see where I ended up. See, what I'm doing is I'm essentially just plotting like I'm looking to see where they could still be at and I could definitely see that the island still could be somewhere right there and if I move to the left whoa didn't mean to move that to the left actually uh, that's to be fair that's to the right but still um, so there's that little spot and there's that's it I, I don't really see much else in the way positions at the uh, there isn't many other hiding places that this island could be at. So. Just keeping an eye out still, because you know, as I said, there's still two other, there's two two other places it could be at. My cat not being one of them, by the way. That's just my cat being my cat again. Uh. Yeah, at this point, I can't really say for sure where it could be at. Boy, the water sure knows how to trip me up, doesn't it? Freaking piranhas. Anyway, uh, there's only one more area, I do believe. Looking at the map, I did cover a little bit more. I should know these islands are actually really huge now. So, oh my God, they really should make it so when you're actually looking at a map or something, or you're looking at your inventory, freeze the freaking screen so that way you can't get hit all the time. You can focus on what you're trying to do. But anyway, um. Yeah, needless to say, I can only see there being one other place, and it's at the very end. Oh. 
No doubt about it. beat back harpies just so I can actually be able to move. see that island better. But yeah, at this point, I really can't say for sure where the island could be at. I really can't say for sure. this technique has actually been very useful but yeah I, th I don't think there are any more floating islands from the way things are looking Kind of surprised though, that they actually dropped the amount. <laughs> Definitely. But oh well. Anyway, that's all that we can do here. So. Needless to say, I do think that was successful. Um, we did find a couple of floating islands. I'm just surprised though. I thought there would be more than two. Unless they're one of them is lo much lower than the other. That's the only thing I can think of. But generally, the floating islands tend to be on an identical height. And considering how much of the sky I did cover, I would have landed on top of one of them. I would have landed on top of it anyway. The main thing for me is, is there anything I can actually do with these cloud blocks I got? The rain cloud blocks and the normal cloud block blocks? I'm really curious to see if there's actually anything I can do with that stuff. Um, it also makes me wonder if you can actually make a cloud in a bottle now. Because you have the clouds, you have the bottles, I mean beats me, but in any case, um, so far it doesn't seem to be the case. At least none that I can see. Alright, where's the sewing machine? Right here. Oh no, it's right here, actually. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that does anything. Huh. Well then. 
Well, I won't lie, that actually did help a lot in terms of getting, uh... Lots of floating island stuff. No doubt in my mind, we got a lot of floating island stuff with that. I do think, though, we could have done even better. No doubt in my mind. But hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. this. So I did end up with more rope. I definitely ended up with more rope. Keys, not so much. I really don't know what these other three keys are supposed to be. But I have a feeling it is related to the junk, that key, that little bee dungeon thing we saw down there. So I think the next choice at hand now, I don't know how I'm going to be able to find the pyramid. I don't, I, I'd have to spawn a large world, I think, and then just keep going right, or either left or right, until I hit desert or something, because I'm not finding anything in these... It seems to be the pyramids are a lot like the trees in that they only tend, well, they tend to have some goodies in there, but you only find one thing in there, is what I'm getting at. But, um, uh, I guess it's time to drop that, uh, time to find where I... ropes go. And they go right here. Go figure. Well, that's that. Um, yeah, I think my only choice now is to spawn a large world and see what that gets me. So this I'm going to actually do on camera, because fuck it, you know? Um, but I won't lie, there really isn't anything else I can do except once, if I can just find a desert that has a pyramid... That would be very, very nice, you know. That would be very, very nice. All right, create world, large. There you go. This shouldn't take too, too long. But yeah, I really don't... I don't know what I'm going to do here. The pyramids are a lot rarer than I thought they would be. Um, which doesn't make any sense considering I've already seen one tree house. You know, I've seen all these big trees and one of them actually did lead down into a little cubby hole with the uh, stuff in it. You know. Why are the pyramids much this much more rare? Like, is it because the items are more rare or what? I don't know. Um. It's baffling to me. It's very, very baffling to me. But I really don't know. There's also, there's there's also um, the matter of the mushroom biome too. I haven't seen a mushroom biome either. I'm wondering if that's another another rare thing that you don't always get. It's quite baffling to me, like why these two biomes are so rare. You know, like it, I I can understand it adds to the diversity. But having an alternative between corruption and, you know, crimson, I think would have been good enough. That that's just my opinion. 
like as I said, there really isn't anything I can go by right now. There's the wiki is out of date. There's no program that can allow me just spawn something. You know, I am doing guys. I am not kidding when I say I've done all of this legitimately. Every item I've collected in 1.2 so far has been legitimate. The only difference is that I've been speeding it up with my current character, my beefed up character. But as I said, I really don't know what to say. Like, I haven't seen, even with a large world, just the large world that we had for the server earlier this morning, that did shit. <laughs> You know, we didn't get any pyramids in that. It does make me wonder if I do have to dig a bit, but the thing is, I notice the desert biomes are not actually that huge. You know, in terms of length. The pyramid I would see if you would see a pyramid. And from what I could tell, they do poke out of the ground too. Um So I could tell you this right now. You would notice a pyramid, even if it's just a little bit above the ground or something, you know. But yeah, there there's really no other idea I have right now. But <clears throat> but yeah, I'll go ahead and end the episode right now, actually, and then just start up with the uh, new episode where we're gonna see how we go with this pyramid hunt. But anyway, guys, for now, this is signing out. Sayonara, guys.